G'day YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Conky Dash in Linux Mint. Now as you can see to the right hand side here is the Conky Dash. It shows you uh, system information at the top, uh, the CPU frequency and the load rates and the temperature, although that temp isn't set up right now. Uh, a list of the, the most uh, highly uh, CPU utilizing or memory utilizing uh, programs memory disk space, file system space, um, you know, RAM, the network address which is good to see um, and so on and so forth. Uh, so there you go, I'll and up, down, upload and download uh, for the current session as well. So in order to install this, what you need to do, the best way is to go to the terminal and simply type in, type in this single line which is sudo apt-get install conky C-O-N-K-Y, and then throw in your password and allow that to install. Now, of course, mine's already installed, so there won't be much to do here in just a moment. Now, that's all done, so uh, just follow the prompts there. Now, when that's installed, what you then need to do is configure it. So, uh, you have to navigate to your home folder uh, in the Applications menu or wherever you have it present. So, click on the home folder. And you'll find here is where the actual configuration settings for Conky are actually uh, are actually placed. So what you want to do is it's actually a hidden file within the home folder. So in order to find hidden files, uh, there might be a number of different ways to do that. But uh, what I will always do is just type in Control H together, and action. I'll start that again. Control H. Okay, there we go. So I can see a lot more folders now. And if you go right down to the bottom, you'll see conkyrc.conkyrc. And all you need to do is open that with a text editor. And you'll see all the configuration information. Now, it looks uh, a little bit daunting uh, when you first uh, get into it, but after a while it will get pretty easy. Um, but what I will do is at the bottom of this video, I'll uh, post all my uh, specific uh, configuration details that you can see in here. And then from that point, uh, you can just copy it through and then you'll have the Conky Dash working very similar to mine, if not the same. Alright, so I'll just close that. Now after that, you can just close that off. And the next question is, well, how do you open it? So what you want to do is go to a terminal and type in Conky and then that will load up from there and then actually at that point you can just close off that so that should be fine. Now I've also got another video that shows you how to in fact um, uh, do it as a startup application so uh, we'll start anything as a startup application so you can navigate to there if you like but that's pretty much how you install, configure and uh, start up Conky. So that's pretty much it guys, I hope that's been of some help to you. Cheers. Oh, any questions? Just give us a buzz. Although it shouldn't be too too uh, daunting a task. Cheers.